Birth in the American culture is considered a medical event. It's that. That's the measure. And it's to our detriment. Okay, you're measuring right on, 38 centimeters, 38 weeks. As of 2009, we rank 35th in the industrialized world in the safety of our moms and babies. And we have some of the most medicalized and technology-driven childbirth practices in the world. We are tied with Hungary, and we are one point behind Latvia. Statistically speaking, it would be safer and better to go have your baby in Latvia than to stay in the United States. Maybe you'll come out, just like this. Just come out. We believe the process is designed to work in case nobody shows up. So birth will happen even if nobody shows up, or else there wouldn't be six billion people on the planet, because most of them do not give birth in hospitals. Healthy moms have healthy babies. We only accept women for care that are considered low risk. The state of Colorado actually has set out guidelines. So that means a woman carrying one baby that's head down and she doesn't have gestational diabetes or high blood pressure or epilepsy, those women are considered higher risk pregnancies. So they need to be with a physician. But when you're looking at who that cuts out, it it leaves probably 85, 90% of all women. Yeah. So the women that come here to the birth center are very educated. They've looked at their options. They've assessed where their their risks lie financially or just from a health perspective. And they want to go to a place that's going to empower their decisions. I'm Laura Telke and I've been a registered nurse for eight years. I work at the Children's Hospital. I'm currently going to school um, to be a nurse midwife. Well, my husband is Jason Telke. We've been married for eight years and have lived in Denver that entire time. And my son is Jaden, and he's two and a half years old, and he keeps both of us very busy. So my firstborn was born um, at a hospital with a midwife, and Jason and I have chosen for our second pregnancy and delivery to go to the Mountain Midwifery Center, which is a birth center instead. So my family has a history of big babies. Um, Jaden, my firstborn, was nine pounds, 14 ounces. I think I had a, a lucky hospital birth, if you will, um, because the midwife estimated him to be about seven pounds um, and kind of in hindsight told me that had she known he was so large, she may not have let me push quite as long um, and that she had a doctor on her case telling me to take me C-section because it was taking too long to get the baby out. I feel like the medical model is quick to jump to a C-section saying they can't do it, you can never push this baby out, they're in the wrong position, your pelvis is too small. Um, but again, proving that I did have a large baby and it did take a while to push him out, but it was safe um, and effective and he came out healthy. I had a quick recovery um, and avoided the abdominal surgery. Big one. That was a big one. No, no. The providers know that, that they have the means of delivering that baby, whether it's forceps, vacuum, C-section, um, they have the interventions that they can do. And so um, the importance of, of educating the women on the process or encouraging them to take classes um, on how to deal with labor or the pains or um, even pregnancy in general, your body changing, um, is lacking because of that, because the interventions have kind of taken the place of that instead. I feel like labor is like a hyper state to be in. Welcoming the labor and welcoming the pain is just so vital to having it go smoothly and healthy and safely, really. So when I got pregnant the second time, we had heard about a birth center. They definitely have a model of care that pregnancy and um, labor and delivery is a healthy state to be in. It's not an illness or a medical state. There, for the most part, are no interventions needed. I'm Sarah Stone, and I'm one of the midwives at the birth center, and I'm attending Laura and Jason's birth. Laura's definitely 
very strong. Her body is very strong and she's healthy and she's also educated herself about labor and one of the main things that helps her going into labor, I think, is that she's not afraid. Walking in labor can definitely help the baby get a little bit lower in the pelvis and can help the mom cope with the contractions because she can move with them and she's not just sort of stuck bearing them. She's doing great. She's doing great. She's got here and was having contractions really frequently, really strong. And she's, well, she's past six centimeters now. She was six centimeters when she got here a little bit ago. Not all of the dads get in the tub, but Laura has asked Jason to get in the tub so he can be closer to the baby when the baby's born and also to help her with the contractions. Um, and he's helping her primarily by doing counter pressure on her low back. We don't have pain medication here at the birth center, but if women are allowed to relax and be calm during their labor, then their endorphins will kick in and endorphins decrease the sensation of pain. If you're calm and relaxed, then generally it hurts less and goes faster. fantastic and she had a great labor and a fabulous birth and her baby daughter is so cute and she's just really strong woman her name's Willow Eve <laughs> <laughs> and I think she's smaller than Jaden but we'll see in a little bit when we weigh her she's a good eater that's what we know right now when you're in labor you're you're very vulnerable and you have to trust everybody around you because it, it can get scary and you can kind of lose track of what's going on and what's important and stuff. So it just gave us a great comfort knowing that we didn't need to go in with a birth plan this time, that the birth center was our birth plan. in your eyes though. You're like it out here. So eight pounds, eight and a half ounces? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs>